Hello everyone. Hi. Hi. All right. So, it's January and you didn't make any content in advance. No. What do well, you do? To be fair, I I was ill, so you were working doubly hard, Luke. So, uh that that's why. <laughs> well, it's all come good because now my only choice content wise is to, is to throw together a stream where we do a tier list of the dinosaurs so i mean of course it's the only option isn't we, it exactly so we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a relaxing time we're gonna I've, I've assembled a group of um about 40 dinosaurs now look let's do this let's get some disclaimers out of the way one obviously that's not all the dinosaurs i know this is a somewhat editorialized list in that i have been through uh the um, alphabetical list on the Natural History Museum website of all the dinosaurs and picked... of London, by the way, Natural yeah, History yeah. Museum, London. In, yes, yes, and and picked the... Um, uh, picked the ones that I think are worthy of consideration in the tier list. So I understand. I'm sorry if a dinosaur that you love is not represented. I've got all the heavy. Forty hitters. is a lot. Forty is a lot. Forty is a lot. <laughs> I was gonna say we're here, we've got two hours and we've got to get through forty. <laughs> we've got two hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Ellen. No, sorry. I thought this was. I thought this was a twenty-four hour stream. Uh... <laughs> oh no, I've got a little. I mean, I've I got a little like talk dinosaurs, prepared for each but... one. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, so we'll try and crack through. All right. So that's disclaimer one. Number two. Again, I've taken these images. Uh, from the Natural History Museum website because they have the best and most accessible little A to Z of dinosaurs. Yeah. So here's, here's our contenders. So yeah, you can see there's an image credit, but yeah, thanks to the Natural History Museum for being a great museum and also for their for their great dinosaur resources, um, which I'm borrowing here. Right, I think we should probably crack on, shouldn't we? Ellen's got an eye on the chat. I'm not looking mm -hmm. at it because I don't necessarily want to be biased. <laughs> Your... Basically, none of your opinions matter. I don't want any of your terrible matters. takes. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, I do have an eye on the chat, but my screen is very much full of dinosaurs right now, so <laughs> yeah. which is how I like it. So Ellen, Ellen is your main point of chat contact. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we start with Compsognathus? Feels like a reasonable one to begin with. Okay, Compsognathus. Okay, so Compsognathus is in um, the Lost World. You know the movie. Um, ah. it, it's the tiny, tiny, tiny one. Little, little, little one. Little, little, little one. Ellen, do you have any Compsognathus facts for us? Let's have a look. Let's open this up. So, so it's oh the the um what the the uh, name means pretty jaw. Oh, well, that's nice. Okay, well, a automatically up one tier for for having a good name, pretty jaw. Yeah, that's nice. yeah. Um, it's a small theropod. Hmm. It is 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.65 meters long. Adorable. And, we and weighs three kilograms. That's Aww. like, well, you know, so maybe maybe a small dog. Yeah, it's like a cat's um, good cat kind of weight, right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. All right. It's carnivorous with sharp teeth. Um, its food is vertebrates. Just anything with a spine. <laughs> anything with a spine? Gross, Compsognathus. I'm moving you down to C tier. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm um, feeling like... Moves on two legs. Um, it was found in uh, France and Germany, so it's quite. What year? What year was it named? I'm interested. Uh, in that. Let's have a look. Well, oh my gosh, uh, it was named by Wagner. I'm not sure whether it means. Probably not that one. <laughs> not, the, not that one. Uh, in 1859. Oh, okay. I was thinking B tier. It's a classic, classic dinosaur. The older, the better. Yeah. I'm putting it later. Like, we yeah. can move these oh, it, around. We can move the these type around. species. I don't know whether you know what this means, Luke, but mm -hmm. it's it, the type species is long pipes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a vague idea what type species means, but I, I wouldn't want to. Uh, I don't want to get too taxonomical because I will get oh, no. things wrong. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. Bam. Compsognathus A. Uh, what should we do next, Ellen? Should we do How about Kentrosaurus? Kentrosaurus. Kentrosaurus, okay. yeah. Uh, right, so Kentrosaurus. If this isn't found in Kent, I'll be really annoyed. <laughs> no, it's, it's not found in Kent. It's not found, found in, in Tanzania. <laughs> okay. Or Tanzania. Even. I'm putting it C. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it C tier on instinct. Um, let's talk about the pluses. It's covered in spikes. Armored dinosaur. Yes. Spikes are good. Spiky boy. I like dinosaurs. He's even are... got the little spikes yeah. coming out of the shoulders as well. Hmm. 
Mm. So I like that added flair. How, um, um, what length is it? What length? Five meters five on average. Meters. Five okay. meters. How impressive is it in the little picture you can see next to a person? You know, like the kind of full scale. Silhouette? Um. So like it comes up to about like here or wait, wait, yeah, about about here on a normal height person, and it just stretches out. It's like someone got okay. uh, the biggest crocodile ever, made it a bit rounder and lifted mm. it up a bit. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it C tier because it doesn't sound like it's that big. It's clearly no. in the Stegosaurus category of dinosaur. Well, yeah, you know. You know I'm, again, yeah. I'm talking very broadly taxonomically. Yeah. But it looks like it's trying a little hard with the spikes, right? What's trying wrong with temperature little, regulating okay. or mating display plates? Okay. Yeah. As, as I've always said. Okay. In fact, uh, you know what? Why don't we just save some time? Let's just whack Stegosaurus, right? Stegosaurus. <laughs> Stegosaurus could be S tier. Could I? Uh, I mean, Stegosaurus is in Fantasia. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I think that's a Stegosaurus. I think there's a Stegosaurus. It's in definitely it. a Stegosaurus. There's the one with, yeah. the, with the with the things on the yeah, it's yeah. got spikes on the tail, right? Thagger, Thagamizer. It's yeah. got a teeny tiny tiny little head in in yeah. Fantasia, uh, and in real life. You know what? Uh, how about that? How about that? How about, how about that for a wild, unpredictable Ooh. move? That's right. That's right. These are the kind of exciting twists and turns you'll be getting on this stream. Um, okay, let's do Struthiomimus. Tell me about Struthiomimus. Uh, uh, stop moving it so I can see what it begins with. It is an S, right? Uh, yeah, S T R U T H. Struth. I'm. I'm not being shown any. Dinosaurs, the letter S. Dinosaurs beginning with S page is not working. <laughs> oh man, it's a top secret dinosaur. Okay. Okay, well. I need to read this. Had, where is it? Where's he gone? It's not in. <laughs> it's all right. I can. Uh... Where is he? <laughs> where are you, Struthiomimus? Where are you? I'll give Struth? you some. Okay. Struthiomimus. Ah, it's a small theropod, four yes. meters long. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. It's got like a, it is cute. Ostrich mimic is what its name means. It looks a bit like it's like a, a little like a emu ostrich. Yeah, a little yeah. more like, but looks like it could be. Ooh, the size of it. It looks sort of like the size of, or that like skinnier, obviously, but like the size of um, a uh, Velociraptor in the uh, Jurassic Park films. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And An inaccurate size, you mean. But we'll, yeah, we'll get to that, inaccurate. don't worry. We'll get to that later. Yeah, okay. Uh, four metres long. So they're, they're long boys. Long, 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 skinny, long. Long, skinny boys and What's girls. What's the diet? Um, it looks like leaves and insects to me. Om omnivorous. Sure, okay. Omnivorous, that's Om how you say it. Omnivorous. All right. Um, <laughs> teeth. Horny beak. No teeth. I beg your pardon? <laughs> it's got a horny beak. Ellen. Please, this is a sophisticated academic live stream. <laughs> I've brought people here to learn. Oh, they're they're um, found found in Canada. Okay, that's good. Canada is good. I think its arms are too long and it's unsettling. Um, <laughs> also, it does look like something that you'd make in spore, right? Yes, it, yes. Struthiomimus is a, a spore. <laughs> yeah. Um. C tier, I think. Feels right to yeah. me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Truth. You'd think it. They, you'd think they'd made it, found it in Australia, but no. Yeah, Sorry, but no. Australians watching. Let's do. Um, let's do. Oh, 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 oh! Yes, please. Let's do Oviraptor. Okay. O v i r a. It's. Um. I can tell you now that the name I believe means egg thief, and this dinosaur. Yes, it does. This dinosaur's whole shtick is that it will eat your eggs ASAP. Yeah, the, best, the best thing about this one. It's got a powerful beak for egg eating. Yeah, Amazing. Uh, the picture of it standing next to a human, the human is crouching down to it being like, hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> the person's like, Hi, how are you? A human can do that, though, because a human yeah. doesn't have eggs. No, we are safe. Exactly. If humans hatched eat. out of eggs, we would be saying, no, thank you, Oviraptor. Yeah. You stay the heck away. Um... I've got a lot of fondness for Oviraptor, not, and maybe it's just because in this picture it looks like it's just stolen an egg and is running away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got your baby. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. Um. <laughs> uh, 
I like the the head the headgear. Yeah, the little crest. On. The, little the little crest is good. Little, I've got a lot of time for the little crest. The wee. Yeah, Oviraptor is a bloody good dinosaur. What year was it named? Um, it was named in 1924. Okay, all right. By Osborne. Sure, sure. Okay. Um. Okay. Right. Do you want to check in with the chat a bit, Ellen? I know we've got some yeah. few chat messages messages backing up. I'll just uh, I'll just browse through, let people sort of take in this grid of dinos uh, while you read a few messages. Um, as <laughs> Adam Sosner says, Ovaraptor is S tier. Love this sicko. <laughs> <laughs> just like the idea of a dinosaur being called a being sicko. a sicko. Yeah, <laughs> you egg eating sicko. Oh no, you know Dylan Hump. Just for that. <laughs> Not S, but you're moving up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Promotion. Dylan Humphreys says Australians watching do not forgive you, Ellen. I didn't. I didn't name. I didn't name it Struth when it was Canadian. It's not my fault that they didn't name it right. Um, <laughs> yeah, lot lot of love for the uh, egg thief. Good. Um, oh, someone said Canada is C tier. Uh, no, it's an absolute S tier country. Starts they, with a C, they've though. got because it, it's tier because it's all the snow. There we go. Oh yeah, snow uh, tier country. <laughs> snow tier. <laughs> um, are people wondering if Luke is drinking ghost coffee because of green screen? Oh, is it is it going through? Oh, oh yeah, bit. yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh wow, that's cool. Um, yes, I am. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Precious Rogue says the Oviraptor is now believed to not actually be an egg thief. Comes from the fossils <gasps> being found near eggs, which later turned out to be Oviraptor eggs. Uh, Interesting. Well, Interesting. Uh, the food that they think is hard fruits, um, eggs, and possibly shellfish. So it might be that they, it was just to break into things like lobsters and mussels and stuff. Also, um, or horseshoe crabs, because those are probably are, are old delicious. enough. Um, <laughs> sorry, I mean, yeah, what you said. <laughs> also, the oviraptor eggs that it were found near turned out to be oviraptor eggs, of course, because it had stolen it. So they have become... The Oviraptor's eggs. Of course. Okay, possession is nine tenths of the law. The Oviraptor <laughs> will see you in court. Okay, let's do. I'm not too excited about Draco Rex. Let's get Draco Rex sort of Draco Rex. ticks off. Yeah, yeah, Draco Rex. Tell me about. Tell me about Draco Rex. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's very big on Twitter now. Um. <laughs> Uh, Dragon King, the name means. Dragon um, King. It's actually it, it looks kind of T Rexy, but it's a it's actually a type of Pachycephalosaur. I um, was about to say, can I try and say Pachycephalosaur, but then you beat me to it. Uh, well, well done. Well, you did. Yeah, heroic. It's from work. the USA. Okay. Um, and they are actually named after uh, Tom Felton's character in uh, Potter's. Really? So, yeah. Mm. A type species is a Hogwarts here. Oh my gosh. Oh, the nerds have got to <laughs> dinosaurs. Dinosauring used to be <laughs> used to be a proud <laughs> pursuit. But, but no more. America is our first American uh, USA second North American dinosaur that we've looked at today, but first American. So. Hence the extra cool spikes. I've put it D tier. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not like, you know what, I'm sure it's a fine dinosaur, but it's like, mm -hmm. it's not doing anything for me. Yeah. Um, the fact that it's like covered in spikes, even though it's a pachycephalosaur, I don't know. Let's do pachycephalosaur. Uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, it was named by school kids. I feel bad. <laughs> It was named by school kids. Yeah. <laughs> well, they learned a lesson, hopefully. It's, yeah, it's it's um, well, it, yeah, it was named by Baker Sullivan, Porton Larson, and Salisbury in two thousand and six. So it's a fairly new dinosaur. Too recent. Too recent as a dinosaur. No. It's a Gen Z you. dinosaur. Gen Z so, dinosaur, not welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, does it say what it's known from? Like, how much of it did they actually find? Oh, identified uh, after the discovery of a spectacular skull. I get, yeah. I think a dinosaur loses points for only having tiny fragments of it found. Because it, it means that there's yeah. a lot more supposition going on about... True. Yeah. True. 
Uh, okay, right, let's so do... Cool spiky skull and that sort of it. Let's All do right. real Pachycephalosaurus. It's minimum A. Um, it's minimum A tier. Is it S tier? I don't know. All right. I mean, already I like this drawing. Um, because he's just like... Eh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the one that in, um... It's in the Lost World. I think in the Lost World they did it a bit too small. Um, mm -hmm. But it's got like it's got a hard sort of bony um, bit on its head, and it uh, kind of charges into stuff. And mm -hmm. the um, the kind of the evidence for that, assuming this isn't out of date, which some of my dinosaur knowledge surely will be, is that it's got these bones in its spine that kind of like lock into place. Which means, like for Ellen, if I ran at a car door with my head down and slammed into it, my neck would break and I'd die. <laughs> um, but yeah, this kind of like locking. Um, uh, bone mechanism. Um, yeah, helped it out. Uh, Manuel Riveros in the chat says, most recently described species have Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, or some other nerd reference. Most of us, bi most of us biologists are nerds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to... S tier should be really special. Yeah. It's A tier. I think it's an A tier. But... It's eight mm. meters long. It's eight meters is... long, people. And 3,000 no kilograms. Yeah. Okay, let's do a controversial that's one. A lot of, that's a lot of, that's 3,000 bags of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. A lot of, a lot of sugar. Let's, do, oh, I'd love to see one charge into that many bags of sugar. Let's, <laughs> let's do, let's do Velociraptor. <gasps> Velociraptor. I'm just putting it B tier for now. Just so we can see it. Just so that I can see it around here. I've, we've not really settled on where it should be. Um, the name, Luke, the name means quick plunderer. Yes, Which that's I think cool. It's very cool. As you are well aware, Ellen, Velociraptors as we imagine them, when we imagine a Velociraptor, we're, we're imagining something much closer to Deinonychus. Let's bring Deinonychus up here. But I, I'm not because I spent too long with you. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes, that's true. I like how the Deinonychus and the Velociraptor are facing away from each other as, as, as a sort of yeah. sign. So, like... If you when you picture like a, a raptor and all the cool stuff that raptors are up to, yeah, you're really thinking of Deinonychus. Maybe where's Utah yeah. Raptor? Utah Utah Raptors in the mix as well. Um, I so it's found in Utah. If not, I'll be annoyed. Um, yeah, Velociraptor. I like the Velociraptor. Yeah. Um, because like it's it. all feathery and fun and cute, and I like the fact that it's tiny and dangerous. Um, How do you feel if I do this? Keep Velociraptor B tier, which is totally respectable. But Deinonychus A tier because. Well, let's have a look at Deinonychus's page. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, I've forgotten the E. Hmm. Dino. Deinonychus. Chat's torn on this one. Hmm. He is still very small, though. They only come up to your waist. Mm. Um. Although they've got the uh, backward curving teeth, so they really like sink into oh. your back. I, you know what? Um, I, I tell you, I, found uh, in America, early Cretaceous. There's a dino. Uh, early Cretaceous. Okay, so sort of dipped out before the end. That's yeah, pretty cool. And cool and these way to leave a party. <laughs> fully found until uh, 19. Well, they were named in 1969. So these were probably mm. we probably discovered the like you know we evidently discovered these bones you know, before then, but we had those and the Velociraptors all muddled up with each other, okay. likely. You know what? I'm, I'm. Everything you said has made me want to move Deinonychus down to B tier. Um, again... It's not quite like yeah, it's Jurassic just not, Park. But, but, level. but, but, Ellen, let me tell you a dinosaur who, who's going to mess you up, right? Right. Mess you up big style. Yeah. I'm talking about my, my favourite chap, Baryonyx. Baryonyx. Yeah, Wait, tell... I've just seen Deinonychus's name means terrible claw, which is also quite cool. That is anyway, pretty, sorry. It's pretty badass. Baryonyx. It's going to depend on where Baryonyx is. Baryonyx. Um, okay. I love Baryonyx. Baryonyx he's is almost... He's called Heavy Claw. Heavy Claw. Baryonyx... I like the fact that he's yeah. catching a fish in this picture. Almost always depicted for some reason eating a fish. I <laughs> don't know why. Like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baryonyx, like, it's a kind of like a sort of, um, uh, yeah, oh, ah, uh, uh, the Natural History Museum lists its, li lists its food as fish yeah. and iguanodon. Which yeah, very is specifically cool. another type of dinosaur. 
Like, yeah. Definitely ate iguanodons. <laughs> so imagine like imagine when you picture a velociraptor, imagine that, but like with a much like kind of longer snout. Mm-hmm. It's like more kind of like crocodile snout, but still a bit na- like narrower. So May have crouched yeah. on riverbanks more or like waded navigator. into shallow water to hook fish with its claws. Or oh. Love I think on. I've seen these in the the BBC dinosaur program. Oh yeah, I'm sure. The Walking with Dinosaurs one mm. that they did way back when, at yep. least twenty years ago now. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so they're found in England, Spain, and other parts of the United Kingdom. Not that Spain is in the United Kingdom. That's a different, very different parts of the world. But yeah. I feel like I can imagine some good places to go fishing in Spain. Lovely, lovely terrain around there. I feel like Velociraptor has settled in B tier. That's okay with me. I like all mm-hmm. these. I like all dinosaurs. They're all good. They're all Is just animals who, I... who it's <laughs> bonkers to rank them at all. <laughs> well, I want, but we're committed I want... to the idea now. I want to hug the Velociraptor is the thing, because yeah. it's all fluffy and feathery. Mm, well, There's not many dinosaurs that I want to hug. There's dinosaurs that I want to ride like a pony and be like, woo! Yeah. Um, there's dinosaurs that I don't want to be anywhere near. Um, and then the, the Vel- Velociraptor, I'm like, don't eat me, or I'll give you cuddles and um, other dino- small dinosaurs. <laughs> there you go, you have that. <laughs> Can I hug you? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep Baryonyx A tier and Dinonychus B. Right. I may switch these two round. Does that feel good to me? I just really like Baryonyx, and I don't want to. Exp- I don't feel the need to explain myself. Right. Let's do Diplodocus. Let's get a. Uh, let's get a sauropod mm-hmm. in the mix. Oh, Tyler Barnes in the chat. Ark is the main reason I recognize some of these dinos. Oh, Fine I just reason. remember that when we loaded up oh, and the my. T-Rex immediately killed <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That game is so, so hard. Uh, where have you gone, Diplodocus? Charlie says, hugging not recommended. I know it's not recommended. It's like how I really want to hug a polar bear, but mm. it would murder me. Like, I want to hug a tiger, but it would kill me. Like, so I can't. I just have to accept that I can't can't hug every cat, as the lady said on the internet many years ago. <laughs> but maybe I could hug one dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, we're talking about, to be specific, we're talking about non-avian dinosaurs we're ranking mm. here. So you can taxonomically hug a, <gasps> hug a dinosaur by simply embracing a, a chicken. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd, I'd happily hug a chicken. They're very cute. Um, Precious Rogue is again in chat saying it's impossible. It, it's possible, an adult Baronyx was bigger. Um, they think the fossils that they found so far have been just from juveniles. Brilliant. This is this is great intel. Thank you, Precious so, Rogue. Okay, yeah, yeah let's keep Baronyx eight here. Absolute nerd. I can attest. <laughs> right. Give me the give me the Diplodocus deets. Diplodocus or Diplodocus? Yeah. What kind of you? It's like the scone scone argument. <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay. Natural History oh, Museum Diplodocus. Dip, Diplodocus. Yeah. But come on. Um, <laughs> Dip, come on. Be <laughs> real. Double bean. Meet me halfway which, here. I guess me. <laughs> well, double bean beam is uh, probably because the the neck and the tail are like two beans that meet yep. in the middle. Yeah. All right, give me the right, give me gonna... give me the blurb that they've got. Now, okay. bear in mind that the Natural History Museum has an extremely <laughs> famous famous Diplodocus. Ah, oh, um, Dippy. Yeah, Dippy. So <laughs> they they will be bringing some personal bias to this. Just I just just scroll down quickly to have a look at the type species, and it's a longus. <laughs> longus. <laughs> What are you? Oh, I'm a longus. I'm a longus. It's like an among us. Um, yeah. <laughs> I do the like Diplodocus. It's oh, a t- Could it be S tier? I don't want too many sauropods. I feel like there will be a sauropod in S tier, but is it going to be Diplodocus? Mm, I do love Diplodocus. I, I mean... It's classic. Just Dippy classic. is classic. So, um, <clears throat> well, let, let's, let's oh, quickly read through... 
uh, the deets on the uh, yeah. natural history site. Uh, Diplodoc has had a long neck that it would have used to reach high and low vegetation and to drink water. There has been some debate over how such a long neck would have been held. Scientists now Tenderly think that the ligaments... <laughs> Scientists now think that Luke walked around all the... <laughs> um, now think that... You'd be tall enough, actually. Now think that ligaments running from the hip to the back of the neck would have allowed Diplodocus to hold its neck in a horizontal position without using muscles. Wow. Uh, Dip... Uh... The vertebrae or backbones are split down the middle and this space could have held ligaments like me. That's so... Things that you could learn from a skeleton. Um, <clears throat> Diplodocus may have had narrow pointed bony spines lining its back. Spines are cool. I'm S tearing cool. it. I might bump it down to A when we get to like Brachiosaurus. Because <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. obviously Brachiosaurus kicks ass. I don't need to tell anyone that. Mm -hmm. That's obvious. We've also got like... Um, uh, somewhere in here is the one that's like the actual thought to be like the biggest dinosaur, which you know mm. counts for something. Is that mm. is that Alamosaurus or is it Barosaurus? What? We'll in, get. To, are you, are we we'll thinking of, of length? Because like like total weight. Oh, it might be Argentinosaurus. To total weight. Diplodocus is fifteen thousand kilos. It's All twenty six right. twenty six meters long, Luke. Okay. All right, let's start cracking through a few of these. Um, twenty-six meters. Twenty. That's it's good. It's good. It's got a long whippy tail. Long whippy tail. He whips it's, his tail back and forth. His tail. <laughs> it can be. It can be a. It can be S tier for now. Um, mm -hmm. Right. While we're here, then, tell me about Apatosaurus. Now, Apatosaurus, as far as I'm concerned, unless you can convince me otherwise, Ellen, is just a sort of, you know, lives in the shadow of Diplodocus. Diplodocus. And you know, is is destined straight for maybe even for C for C tier. Yeah, um, <laughs> its name means deceptive lizard. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, it wishes it, it would deceive you into thinking it's a diplodocus. It's already five meters sh shorter than a diplodocus. I don't need to hear any more. Next, uh, let's do. It's, it's also its species is not longus. It's Ajax. Which Ajax. makes it sound like a cleaner. <laughs> Come on. Just be long us. Uh, let's do Alamosaurus. I'm on a bit of a saura, sauropod okay. tear now. Alamosaurus. Alamosaurus, Often yeah. found at the Alamo Draft House. Um, it's called Alamo li Lizard is the, what its name means. Sure. It's also 21 meters and is found in the USA where, where the Alamo Draft House is. Um... This is the only late Cretaceous sauropod that has been found in North America. Okay, Exciting. so, it, you know, late Cretaceous, it was there when it all went sideways and did yeah. nothing. Um, yeah, Ty type species is San Juanesis, if I'm saying that right, um, which is a fun thing to say. Uh, that, that's all I can say about that. Um, the chat's talking about whether what, what <gasps> dinosaur Littlefoot is from the land before time. I thought Littlefoot Ooh. was an Apatosaurus, but I may be wrong. Yeah, someone, someone, David Young says Littlefoot is an Apatosaurus. Okay. Do I have Apatosaurus in here? Mm, well, maybe not. Yeah, yeah. I thought you you just had me look it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm getting That's totally confused. All right. I'm going to bump, for the Littlefoot one. connection, I'm going to bump Apatosaurus up to B because I love nice. the Lamb Before Time no, and I love Littlefoot. That. In years, uh, Littlefoot yeah, is my favourite with tree stuff. It's beautiful. Um, it's so sad all the way through. It's so sad. Heartbreaking. There's no point where they're like. How? Happy. How is that a children's film? <laughs> it's so. Uh, although we should have sad children's films. Sad children's films are important. Children should know that it. You can be sad, and it's okay. Children to Children should know that a T Rex might bite your mother's spine out at any moment, and and you're. Yeah, your grandparents will try to raise you, but you'll become immediately lost and have to make your own way to the Green Valley. <laughs> Don't say things like that when I take a sip of my drink. <laughs> okay, let's do... Um, let's do... Let's do another... Do we have... Let's do Barosaurus. B-A-R-O-saurus. Not feeling very inspired by it. Mm. I've got sauropod fatigue. Unless you can tell me something truly spectacular. It means heavy lizard. D tier. Uh, uh, it's 24 meters. Um, 
found in Tanzania and USA. Named in 1890, so it is one of the earlier ones. Yeah. Um, and it's a it's a lentus <laughs> or ientus. Okay. I'm not sure whether that's an L or a, a, a lowercase L or an uppercase I. I think it's a lowercase L because they've all been lowercase in that little section. Okay. Uh, what what what? Yeah, I think it's fine. It's it's just it's late Jurassic. Uh, it's not quite. It's just fine. It's not. It's two meters too short it's not the biggest not the longest boy okay um d tier feels harsh but i'm uh, my i don't even i'm eh, no Screw yeah it. okay argentinosaurus this is the one that is like there's there's debate obviously but uh folks think that argentinosaurus is like the biggest dinosaur evs oh <laughs> <laughs> all right Argentina lizard, so I'm yeah. guessing that it was found, yep, yeah, in Argentina. Mm -hmm. It is, Luke, it is 35 metres long. Oh, yes, now you're talking. <laughs> and Whoa. do you, you want to know, do you want to know the weight? Do you want to know how many bags of sugar you're going to have to hit me carry? With, hit me with it. Give it to me in sugar bags. 70,000. 70,000 sugar bags. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, Argentinosaurus is an easy A tier dinosaur. The mm -hmm. only thing that's keeping it from S tier is wait, when was Argentinosaurus described? What year? Is it? it uh, I've got it a feeling was... Argentinosaurus has not been found complete. Very new, 1993. Okay. Um, the exact size of Argentinosaurus is hard to estimate due mm. to the incompleteness of its fossilized remains. What but did it is I just one say? Of, okay. One of the largest land animals ever found. It carried on growing throughout most of its lifetime. So it okay. didn't like get to adulthood and gets what it just kept going. A bit like a crocodile or an alligator. Mm. You get the huge ones. Look, when, when the um, fossil record is more complete, we can reevaluate. We can go back and maybe it'll be S tier. But like, I've got in mind that we still haven't placed Brachiosaurus and like- Oh my God. Is. But Luke, other similarly massive dinosaurs include Patagoti Patagotitan, yeah. Um, and Puertosaurus. Mm. They were all Titanosaurs. Oh, yeah. Titanosaur. Yeah, yeah. Titanosaur. Titanosaur, yeah. Argentinosaurus <gasps> is, is kind of here representing the Titanosaurs um, mm -hmm. and doing a bang up job, I think. Uh, Amazing. Right. Let's do Ornithomimus. <laughs> Bird mimic. I was like, orny, ornithologists are people who look at birds so i was thinking it's something to do with bird so mm. orthomimus uh, ornithomimus ornithomimus sorry uh is so uh, like bird mime bird mimic yeah oh uh, no okay uh four it's larger than you think uh four meters so Ooh, like, oh yeah it, bigger than it, you are le lengthwise yeah yeah it would be tall it would be as tall if not taller than you do we have gallimimus in here which is the one that charges in a herd in um Oh. In uh, Jurassic Park. If oh, not, yeah. I think Ornithomimus is a, is an absolutely fine stand-in. Yeah, when they're all like, hee -hee, and yeah. then the big T-Rex comes um, out and they're like, I mean, ah. you know, an interesting dinosaur. Mm -hmm. uh, late Cretaceous. I like the way it's doing nothing. a little kick. Yeah, and it's it's a properly <laughs> properly vintage, named in 1890. <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, lovely. It's B or C. I it's I'd, I'd go C. Okay. Yeah. I like. Yeah. Oh no 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 B B B B B. Sorry, go B B B okay. B. That's fine. Cool. But we can come back. We can circle back. I'll go with I'll go with you. I'll go with your your instincts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's do. Let's you know, let's put the tiger on the table. Yeah. And the tiger is Triceratops. Because Ooh. we haven't ev even gone into all of these atopses, you know. We've got yeah. Styracosaurus and Pentaceratops and Protoceratops in the mix yeah. here. And there's no point in talking about them until we've... There we go. Triceratops S tier. I don't think that's controversial, is it? Not at all. Um, it, it's just three, horn three horned face is its name. Yep. It's got a little horny beak mm -hmm. again and shearing teeth found in the USA. Like so, its its beak was like kind of parrot parrot like. Oh god! Herd in in has got a herd instinct. Um, Fine. And okay. yeah, named in 1890, 1889. It's the complete package, dinosaur wise, I think. 
Oh, uh, the type species though is horridus. <laughs> mm, yeah, Triceratops horridus. <laughs> um, so Busting around in the chat, set the types Sarah, which I'm thinking <laughs> is supposed to be in the, in the voice of Sarah's parents from the Land Before Time. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. Sarah's dad is mean. Okay. <laughs> Yep, Triceratops S tier. Now, I, I don't want it to sound like that's just automatic because it's famous. It isn't. No, it's because so it's, I thought it's about really it. good. Uh, yeah. It's in Fantasia, does a good job in that. Iconic, has, crucially, like all the best dinosaurs, has thing. a superpower. You know, yes. like has a kind of, has has a shtick. And yeah. actually, like it's, look at Styracosaurus. It's very hard to look at Styracosaurus and not see essentially <laughs> a, a, a try hard. You know, yeah. like a, yeah. a Styracosaurus. Try is like, hard tops. <laughs> yes, yes. Try hard tops. V yes, Ellen. Okay, you know in Jurassic World where they were like dinosaurs are boring, let's make a new one, and they made Indominus Rex. Yeah. Styracosaurus looks like it was made a by hive, yeah. Jurassic World engineers who thought people are bored of Triceratops. Um, and for that largely unfair reason, Styracosaurus is probably going to have to hang around in. D tier, I think. Mm. No, oh, well, no, it was in some of my books as a child. That's it. It's a C tier, C tier. We've also got Pentaceratops. Chasmosaurus. Surely we can D tier Chasmosaurus. <sighs> Rock the Chasmosaurus. Um. But how how do we how do we how do we spell that one? Which Very one? Easy. Styracosaurus Ca or Chasmo? Chas. C H A S. Chasmosaurus. Chasmosaurus. Yeah. Like Chas and Dave Mosaurus. Yeah. Um. Or again, has a horny beak. Um. Found in Canada. Uh. Moved on four legs. Doesn't say when it was named. Um. But the type series, uh, type species, sorry, is Belly. <laughs> okay. I'm sure. I'm sure. Little belly. It's got a little belly. belly. I'm sure Chasmosaurus is, has many charms, but, you know, you've got to bear in mind that, like, there's S, A, B, C, D. All mm -hmm. other animals ever are E tier mm. or below. Mm. So we are here looking at the best animals that have ever been. Mm. And, like, we're putting them at the top, you know? What's the best animal around today? Tiger. On this scale, tiger would be L. L tier, what? maybe, you know? Maybe F, because I like tigers. But, you know, we're talking about dinosaurs. All I'm trying to say is that all of these creatures are the creme de la creme de la month. So, <laughs> like... Okay. Okay. Hmm. Creme fresh. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put Pentaceratops. I think ha suffers from the same issue as Styracosaurus. Not it everyone's into acapella. <laughs> It's got five. It's called Pentaceratops because it's got five horns, but like mm -hmm. the 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 extra two horns are really little and they're kind of coming. Oh, out they're the, the little it's, ones. Yeah, there. yeah. I like. like I think that is. Quote, and it's already got yeah. horns going all the way around its frill. It's quota filling, frankly, and it's ornamentation and it's vanity. So it's here for Pentaceratops. <laughs> however, however, because I know, now everyone is against me and they think I'm so harsh on some of these dinosaurs. Yeah. Let's talk about Protoceratops. Who I absolutely yeah. love this one here. Protoceratops. It's like a little. It's like a little super early version. It's like the beta oh, version of a triceratops. Yeah, protoceratops. Mm. It's like their tryout one. Yeah, it doesn't have the horns yet, but it's it's teeny tiny, and it's really cute. Proto Aww, protoceratops. Oh, that is so cute. Protoce like what's the what's the scale? Could 1. be a good pet. Meters. Yeah, it, it's like yeah. a big dog. Yeah, imagine imagine like a <gasps> triceratops that's like a big dog. I tell you what it looks like. Yeah. Do you know that bit in the film Evolution where the lady has an alien uh, oh, like yeah, yeah. in her cupboard? Yeah. And she's like, it's okay. It looks like that. Like this yes, dinosaur okay. looks like a dinosaur that could be in Dinosaurs, the TV uh, sitcom. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. But despite that. This could be like their, their yeah. pet. <laughs> Protoceratops also, uh, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a Protoceratops in the Dinotopia books, 
They meet mm-hmm. an, they meet and when they go to Dinotopia, they meet an ambassador called Bix, mm-hmm. who is a protoceratops. Uh, and like Bix teaches them to like write in dinosaur. Um, yeah. And and you know, so I mean call it bias if you like, but I think Protoceratops is just brilliant. Um yeah. so yeah, A tier. It is good. It's A-tier. cute. Yeah. And the type species is Andrusi. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Okay, we're we're getting yeah, through. We're like getting that. we're getting through. Um Right. What do you want to do next, Ellen, of these ones that you can see mm. here? The- I mean there's one there's one that I know you will immediately put an S tier because it's your favourite ever. Archaeopteryx. And it's our, yeah, it's our little feathered friend, the Archaeopteryx. I mean, look, if you're a fan of the channel, what more is there to say about Archaeopteryx? Um, S tier because incredibly... It's so small. So, yes. Well, I was going to say it's incredibly important to the fossil record and our understanding of dinosaurs, <laughs> but also it is so small, which is also good. Yeah, Archaeopteryx, tiny, flying... A famous fossil that you can go and see in Berlin. So mm-hmm, yeah, Archaeopteryx. Yeah, Germany. Archaeopteryx. 1861. Nailed on it. Like it absolutely made such a huge deal, and you like you know the feathers were fossil. Like, you know the shape you could see that. Oh, it's amazing. Um, yeah. Uh, it it was it was the one that caught me out though. In our in our. Showdown yes, of the weekend right. yeah, years yeah. ago. I yeah. thought because you it was for you it was always a toss up between Archaeopteryx and Triceratops because Triceratops is amazing and you also love that. But Archaeopteryx at the end of the day ultimately the best one because it's so bird like. So bird like, and the fossil record. Okay, the fossil record, okay. and you can get a really good fossil of it. You can get like a reenactment, reenactment. Um. Not that's no, that's not the one I want. But you can get uh, a version of it uh, in uh, Animal Crossing. It's the exact oh yeah, same, of course like, layout and everything. Yeah, yeah. So that's very good. Look at this like ad that's just been floating around at the bottom of this thing. If you have any, <laughs> just occasionally this doll pops. Just a little cabbage patch doll, like lol what? <laughs> lol what? Oh my god, I didn't see the lol. My favorite thing to do with like. Those real like clickbait adverts, yeah. like where they're like, you wouldn't believe that, and I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna go Google it. <laughs> like, if yeah, I, yeah, if yeah. I'm actually, like, I'm gonna find I it elsewhere. Know what that is, I'm gonna just research it myself. Yes, that's a good Google. move. Okay, <laughs> let's. I want to do one that I don't already know quite a lot about. I want to learn. Let's do mm-hmm. Acrocanthosaurus. Ooh. Mm, this one down here. I'll move it up to the top of the queue. Acrocanthosaurus. It means high spined lizard. <laughs> All right, fine. He's a high spined lizard. He likes to eat others. <laughs> so, just like that, pimple wizard. Um, Amazing. Okay. Found in uh, 1950, early Cretaceous, found okay. in Canada and the USA. Sure. Diet carnivorous, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, 12 meters long. That's pretty like big. pretty, pretty big. big, uh, and, uh, it looks, it, it looks impressive. I like how long its legs are in comparison to its body. Like, it's very high up. Yes, that's cool. Um, it could be a model in the dinosaur world <laughs> with legs like that. <laughs> it could be a part Look at the pins model. on that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Acrocanthosaurus, but like I mean, fundamentally, what 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 we're looking at here is a T Rex with longer arms. Uh, yeah, he has. Yeah, the lot. It's got like well, weird well, wrists as meters. well. Let me just get that in perspective. It's the same length as T Rex. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's. I, you know what? Like, for, I'm just struggling to get excited about it, and that's rare in a dinosaur. Mm. Uh, C tier, I feel like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But let's do let's do let's do some more um, let's do some let's do some more theropods. Theropods. Um, okay. Yeah. Let's do some more theropods. I know more, what that is. <laughs> well, T T Rexy ones. 
<laughs> T-Rexy ones. Yeah, let's okay. do let's do the next one in the queue is Ceratosaurus. Let's do Ceratosaurus. Okay. Horned lizard again. Uh six meters. Compact. Uh, 970 kilos found yep. in Portugal in the USA. This will be this will be interesting because this will be one of the dinosaurs um, that shows how the plates of the Earth have moved. Okay, because that's like another huge thing. I feel like it's really old. I've got like I, I remember Ceratosaurus being in like a set of models I had when I was a kid and I, when I was a boy in like the 1800s. 18, 18, 18, 1884. 1884. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah so like this one so like the ones that yeah if it's found in usa and then portugal or like tanzania like that usually shows like how like africa was more like linked in everything was sort of on one side of the earth at one point pretty much yeah. and then it all just went nah. yeah. except hawaii that was like stay away everyone. <laughs> i've got this nice chill bit in the pacific everyone stay away um but yeah like it, it's really the cool i like one of the cool things you know dinosaurs are not only a natural history lesson but also like a geographical one as well they're, they're the compl they're the complete package yeah um god i love them uh <laughs> but ceratosaurus i mean you know a fine dinosaur it's got like some interesting stuff going on on its face bone wise yeah it's got like the kind of yeah um it's giving me are you local vibes <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be i'm gonna be tear it okay is that too generous i'm looking at the c tier no that feels okay it's real. it's you know it's old you, I've got think, to you think that's more exciting than acrocanthosaurus okay i do yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay that's fair that's yeah. fair okay Let's do, um, oh yeah, we've got a lot. We've got a lot of these quite samey ones here. Mm. Um, might just try and might just try and fly quickly through a few of them. Um, let's do Allosaurus and Megalosaurus, um, mm -hmm. and, and you know, sort of get them squared away. We can do Gigantosaurus or Gig Gigantosaurus. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. We can do that. We can do that. Um, We've also got we've got spine at spinosaurus in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. That'd yeah. Be. Okay. We've the got we've those in Horizon Forbidden West. So. Yeah. We got a lot of ther we've got a lot of theropods here, and mm -hmm. theropods can be a little bit samey. So, tell me how long Allosaurus is, and tell me how long Megalosaurus is. Okay. So Allosaurus, twelve meters. Okay. Okay. Megalosaurus. Despite having the name Mega, is only nine meters. Now, Allosaurus is also one that I know. Yeah, yeah. Like I've not really, I sort of know of Megalosaurus. I think but... Allosaurus, like when I when I was a kid, Allosaurus was the first theropod that you sort of learned about that wasn't T Rex. It's like yeah, that, that Allosaurus was one that they were like, they're not all just T Rexes. Here's an yeah. Allosaurus. This exactly. is a bit yeah. different, and blah 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 blah. Yeah. yeah. Um. Food, Stegosaurus, Diplodocus, and others. That's <laughs> the Allosaurus food. Uh, it's called... It's quite funny that we just said that like this is the one where we're like, actually, it's not a T-Rex. It's a different dinosaur because Allosaurus means other lizard. <laughs> so I enjoy that. Uh, found in Portugal and USA, again, shows that they were kind of connected at one point. And uh, was discovered in 1877. That's good. That's really old. Also, David Young in the chat says, Allosaurus is among my favorites because it's pack hunters, which is cool. <gasps> wow. Which is cool. Um, am I going to promote Allosaurus to A tier because of that? I think B tier is already pretty good. Yeah. What the hell? All Allosaurus is like uh, the understudy to the T-Rex. Yes. For children, yeah. in in the eyes of children. I yeah. Think, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's come back to let's 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 move away for a moment. Why don't we do just because I think the name is funny, Bambi Raptor. I mean, I was waiting for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about Bambi Raptor. So cute. 
Um, it's a small theropod, one meter long, found in the USA from the uh, late Cretaceous period. Um, and it was named by Bern, uh, Dursler, Curry, Baker, Obaka, Zoo, and Ostrom in 2000. So it's a very uh, new, recent, recent, newly named sure. kind of one. Um, and it's called uh, Bambi Plunderer, is what Bambi <laughs> means. Bambi Plunderer is what that means. Yeah, okay, yeah. well, that's not very informative. It is teeny mm. tiny. It's only a metre long. It's bearing so in mind, small. Bearing in mind how much of that is tail. Yeah, it's like it's about... like a kind of, in terms of like the body, it's sort of like cat size. Mm. Could um, be a pet. Carnivorous, yeah. though. I mean, yeah. Yeah, which makes sense. And late Cretaceous, so, you know there at the end and did nothing but we won't hold that against it because it's little it couldn't it, it couldn't exactly have jumped it into the air stopped and... it. yeah no. yeah and one of these larger dinosaurs could have performed a perfect <laughs> parry and <laughs> bounced the thing back into space but you can't really expect bambi raptor who is small uh, to do jurassic that. ring yeah <laughs> <Cretaceous> <laughs> yeah ring. Exa- yeah everyone everyone whiffed the parry um yeah parionics okay I don't know about Bambi Raptor then. I mean, yeah, it's cute. It is A lot to cute. like. But maybe like... B tier feels a lot for like a fairly recent and unproven dinosaur. What do you think? Yeah, Where, where's, where's, mean... where's, where's your heart? It's here. Okay. <laughs> Regards um... Bambi Raptor in the tier list, I should have specified. Uh, I think... Oh, this is a tough one. Because I think I, I, I like how it looks i like that it's sort of a little obviously like bird like this feels like it was definitely you know especially because it's late cretaceous yeah it definitely feels like a stepping stone towards the birds we know today like i could see like some people have like cool pet parrots yeah um i like to watch parrot videos on the internet and budgies and stuff making like fun noises so like this this leads towards that enjoyment this this dinosaur I'm going to put Bambi Raptor to tier, tier, B tier, I think. Yeah, I think, for like, me, it's when, not I, a, yeah. when I'm ill, one of my favourite things to do is watch compilations of bird memes, and <laughs> it's good. I, I really I really enjoy them. I didn't so know about Bambi, Bambi Raptor, Raptor before before today. No, um, I, I'd not heard of it before either. But you know what? Like, it's, it's won my heart. It's B tier. This isn't all about just the dinosaurs that are the most famous, the ones that we know and like the best. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs can surprise us. They're amazing. They're many different flavors. Yeah. Right. Never girl. <laughs> an un- let's do an underrated dinosaur. An I'm talking about Utah Raptor. Um, Utah Raptor. Yeah. Now I have fondness for Utah. A lot of people like Utah Raptor for you know various media yeah. that Utah Raptor has niche media that Utah Raptor has appeared in. Mm. Remember? Did you ever read d- the dinosaur comics web comic? Um. No. All right. Well. Some, <laughs> some people in the chat will be with me. One of them yeah. was Utah Raptor. So, um, so yeah, it's yeah. Six you... meters long. Yeah. Hunt a uh, thousand kilograms. Mm. Moved on two legs. Mm. Early Cretaceous. Yep. Uh, similar to Velociraptor, but much larger. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. The real Raptor. Damn, it's massive. Six meters long. A thousand kilograms. Wow. Food, other animals. Yeah. Yeah. Lots oh of my sharp god! There's, teeth. there's an extremely OTT bit of paleo art. The the, the part the painting. If you could yeah. get that on screen in in any form, uh, that would be amazing. I just probably to... can. Let's hang on. Let me just. Because there's an outstanding jumping um, one in the background. Utah Raptor being like, Whoa, like doing almost. Uh, Trinity's jump from the Matrix. <laughs> there you go. Can you see that? It's going to be a little blurry, but there you go. You can see it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so intense. So extra. So good. I mean, lovely bit, lovely bit of paleo art there. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. Utah Raptor feels like a or possibly. S dare I dare I say it S. I yeah because I think this is sort sort of like the idea that we have in our head of the Velociraptor, even if a bit bigger, and like 
it's just so extra. It's so extra, and I love it. I'll keep okay, let's everything and let's be bold. Fan mail and stuff. Let's slam Utah Raptor into that S tier bracket. Yeah. Okay. Let's do Dramecia Mimus. Um, mm -hmm. which is this this one down here. It's another one of these like quite boring herbivory. So well, it's probably an omnivore technically, but you know, a kind mm -hmm. of like sort of herdy. Um, kind of Gallimimus adjacent. Right. So which which one which one is this one? Uh, Dromesia mimus. D R O M. I C. All right. Oh, very. Uh, <laughs> it's known as the emu mimic. Mimic. Uh, so yeah, it very much does look a bit like an emu. Um, teeth again is a horny beak. Uh, plant food. Food was plants, possibly insects and animals too. Was also late Cretaceous, so didn't do anything to help. Um, and we've got a. Where, where did where did the uh, meteorite fall? Do do scientists reckon? Well, I mean, it was all different then, but um, uh, it was in uh, what is now uh, Mexico. Uh, is the is right? The, is so the this thinking, one was yeah. in Canada, so it was, it was a little bit too far. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Well, it was uh, named in yes. 1926. Uh, cool. All right. What's it? Dramecia mimus is now a nomen dubian. What? Dubi dubious name because the fossils are no longer thought to represent a distinct dinosaur type. Oh, dear, Dramecia mimus. You thought you could slip that through <sighs> the net, did, did you? <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, D yeah. tier. D tier. Nothing yeah. against you, Dimitri Mimus, but I'm sorry. We need to find more fossils of you. Yeah. Let's do this one who's only in here because the name is funny. Irritator. <laughs> <laughs> Irritator or Irritator. And, Irritator. And means... Irratit Irritit Irritator, probably. Tell me about Irritator. We is it irritator it's just irritator okay um cool. and the meaning is irritator uh 6.5 meters long uh carnivorous early cretaceous and found in brazil um it's got this so, spine that's interesting can you tell me anything yeah, about the spine it was quite like spinosaurus it's only known uh, it's known only from a skull so the sail is a guess uh, the type species, Irritator Challengeri, was named after Professor Challenger from Arthur Conan Doyle's The Lost World, published in 1912. Okay, but so what, again, a, but what about the Irritator bit? bit? <laughs> that doesn't, why is it called Irritator? Does, I mean, does not say. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, Irritator. I think you are a cool shape. I like the idea of a more com compact Spinosaurus, but it sounds like there's a lot of guesswork going on there, so... yeah. And I've got a fairly empty D tier list. So. Mm. Sorry about it. Uh, what? Why was it? So I'm searching the wiki. Name. The, na the genius name comes from the word irritation, reflecting the feelings of paleontologists who found the skull had been heavily da damaged and altered by the collectors. Oh, that's brilliant. Good. Thank you. Wikipedia Thanks for, for looking that up, Ellen. That is a brilliant fact. So, mm -hmm. so the, fa the, the skull had not been preserved and looked after by humans yeah. as it should have been. So they were like, we can't fully tell what's here because it's been oh, messed with that and is, broken. Okay, that is actually a really good name for a dinosaur. I'm going to keep it D tier though. I think the yeah. I think the paleontologist would agree. Uh, yeah. Let's do let's do a dinosaur that is again I think underrated, weirdly close to my heart. Hadrosaurus. Hadrosaurus huh. is like quite nondescript, but it had kind of has this like duck bill face when you see yeah, very when you like, see mm. yeah hadrosaurus features a lot in paleo art as a sort of like let's put something near the water kind of like drinking peacefully like yeah yeah kind of thing but yeah. 
Hadrosaurus is now a nomen dubium, again, dubious name, because oh, the fossils no. are no longer thought to represent a distinct dinosaur tie. Okay, that's going to be... It does, it does give me vibes of, remember you telling me and showed me the old dinosaur drawings where they kind of got all the legs wrong? Yeah. It feels like that. It feels like this would be one of the dinosaurs in the Crystal Palace Park yeah. dinosaur. Well, it's C or D. Collection. Should it be C for old time's sake or would it be more fair to make it D tier? I'm not, what do you think, Ellen? I'm not, I'm not partial. One, one, one well, the thing is when I heard Hadrosaurus, I was like, is there going to be anything like related to the Hadron Collide Collider? I know it's like way after, but maybe there's something in the name that is yeah. sort of like, yeah. you know, a lot of dinosaurs, thinking. as we found, are dis are discovered by nerds who name. Yeah. Um, like yeah, but no, this is just an old uh, lizard, big lizard. It means uh, uh, named in 1858. So it that's you know it's one of the very earliest ones that they discovered which is why they think that it's probably not a real thing anymore the it's probably a mixture of other dinosaurs the chat seems to be going like c for nostalgia is uh yeah c for nostalgia second says, says, since, yeah, e echoing, uh, echoing quite a few other people who are like you know hadrosaur hadrosaur fans yeah levi munion damn i love me a hadrosaur c um from uh cattle de Becker. Decapa, sorry. Uh, yeah. All right. Preston Arant, C for all those good times we had. We've got some real spicy dinosaurs left in the left in the tank here, Alan, haven't we? <laughs> now, hell yeah. The thing, some of these are going to be very tricky. Mm -hmm. Let's get the ones that I think are going to be easier out the way first. Let's do Micro Raptor. Mm hmm. And we we could take our time with these ones as well. We've got so much time. Yeah. So yeah. we're doing we're doing well. We don't have to stream for two hours. I, although I could read my prepared notes on um, for the twenty. Yeah. On <laughs> Parasaurus. Yeah. No, I'm not. Well, we finished the tier list. The tier list is done. I'm not interested in filling filling time, filling dead air. Yeah. Yeah. Get, you know. <laughs> All right. Tell me about Micro Raptor. Light. Let's have a look at the micro raptor. Can I just say that I'm listening to some Jurassic Park music as we play this because cool. uh, I don't have Luke's audio. So uh, I'm just having the best time listening to the actual theme right now as you went, please tell me about micro raptor. And it went, da na na na. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I enjoy it. I was like, yeah. um, oh, well, it's a small theropod, 0 0.8 meters. So it's a little juice bud, about as big as the desk uh, I'm sitting in front of. 0 0.8. Um, and bearing in mind the si length of the tail, mm -hmm. that is like literally the size of a tail. chicken. Yes, the the size of a chicken. You. Imagine if a chicken had a great big, massive, long, cool tail. It's, but like, for running it's at one speed. kilogram as oh, well. My so heart. it's so light. Oh, Little hollow bones. Oh, um, adorable. Found... Uh, in, in China from the early Cretaceous period, a feathered okay. dinosaur, one species, Microraptor Gui, had a long flight had long flight feathers on all four limbs. Interesting. And it may have been capable of gui guided flight. Well, hello, Microraptor. So, uh, uh, this might be one of our first birds. Uh, so it's really cool. Um, named uh, by Zuzu guided Zuzu, flight Zuzu and Wang. Um, uh, in 2000, so it's a fairly newly named, but uh, yeah, 100% A or above. It's, a tier. It's the fact that it's got wings, right, in yep. this drawing. Mm. It's got wings, but it's also got flight feathers on its back legs yeah. and the tail as Damn. well. Like it's ah. Oh. Damn, that's so cool. It's like four sets of two sets of wings, and it's tiny. It's so small. Uh. I love it. To feed it grapes. Um, but it's says food. They've put the micro other animals models in wind tunnels to see how they could have flown. Oh, micro raptor! Wow, just cooler and cooler. Mhm. Mm hmm. Very really cool. recent. Year two thousand as well. But you know that means that like it probably will have had like a a, a lot of a proper load of science done on it when it was, mm -hmm. it was found in the years since. And you know, several different species. I'm, I, I'm, I'm wondering if this should be S tier. I think maybe. 
I think it would hang out with Archaeopteryx and have the best time. Yeah, I think so. Looking at my S tier now, friends. I'm pretty happy with it. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy with my A tier. Yep. Microraptor above Stegosaurus. This is uh, some huge upsets here. Ag or little, because it's a yeah. plunder. Because <laughs> he's so small. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Should we limit ourselves to how many S tier? No, we shouldn't. No. 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 We, no. We, 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 we tier list <laughs> oh, from the heart. How dare you, Luke? <laughs> okay. Right. Uh. Oh, God. All these dinosaurs are good. Let's do Gigantosaurus. Mm. Interested to find how that's supposed to be pronounced. Gigantosaurus. Giga Giganotosaurus. Giganotosaurus. All right. It's bigger than a T Rex. Uh, it's got little yep. arms. 12.5 like 12, 12, 12 meters, 8,000 kilos. Cool. Teeth are long, blade like, and serrated. Mm. ideal for slicing its food, which are other animals. Uh, found in Argentina. Uh, Giganto... Uh, sorry, how does it? Giganotaurus. Uh, uh, it's a Giganotosaurus. Gigano Gigano Giganotosaurus. That's it. Giganotosaurus. Is known from Giganotosaurus. very fragmentary remains. Taller and longer, but slimmer than Tyrannosaurus okay. Rex. Uh, Gigano, uh, mm -hmm. Giganotosaurus lived millions of years earlier and in South America, not North America. Okay. Giganotosaurus had three fingers on its hands, not two like T-Rex. How it do we may... feel about that? Three oh. fingers instead of two? It may have hunted Argentinosaurus. <gasps> Where's Argentinosaurus? Uh, what tier was that? Where did we pop him? We uh, pop... Oh, A tier. A tier, yeah. Maybe we should just... <laughs> No, sorry, I lost myself for a moment there, and this is a um, this is a sophisticated academic stream. Uh, that's actually all really interesting. Um, I like that it's a different size, but I cannot a tier Giganote uh, Giganotosaurus when the fossil when the fossil record is. Is as you say, as you say, remains. quite fragmentary. Yeah. I think it's B tier. They didn't hold themselves together. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of stuff happening. A lot of disco cool d discoveries in Argentina. Like, if I'm a big dinosaur fan, I want to go to Argentina. Yeah, I would. Um, I would dearly, dearly love to like take a take a month off and go yeah. work on a. Oh, would you? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I, I could stop there really, <laughs> and and go work on a go work on a dig site in like mm. in the in a, in a North American desert somewhere. You can do it. Um, basically, like normally, obviously, it's for academics, but digs are so poorly funded often that like if you're if if you're willing to pay a lot of money, <laughs> they will suffer a complete noob to just basically like potter around treading on skulls by accident, being like, oh, it's a pleasure to be <laughs> to be here. <laughs> Can I clean this bit? And then they have to—they have to be nice to you. <laughs> so that's my dream. That's my dream. Yeah. Is to use my life savings to buy my way onto a dinosaur dig, but they have to be nice to me. <laughs> Let me take selfies with all the claws and stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. One day, oh, one day, one day, one day, we'll make it happen. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, right. I'm not gonna lie, Ellen. I'm looking at the remaining dinos. A lot of these are gonna be S tier. Yeah. But I don't think they all are. Mm. Well, what one should we dig into first? Let's do. Let's do Dilophosaurus. Needless to say. It didn't really act like in Jurassic Park with the spitting of the venom and stuff like that. Ah, oh, it's that one, right? Yeah, and this one's bigger. It's six meters long. Um, pretty long. Yeah, big, 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 long, long lizard. Uh, two ridged lizard is what uh, its name means. Probably because of its two ridges. Two ridges. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's more badass than a mohawk? Uh, two mohawks. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to disagree. Um, 
early Jurassic would fit in perfectly in Jurassic Park, of course. Uh, food was other animals, uh, lots of sharp and curved teeth. Uh, Dilophosaurus was a fast moving meat eating dinosaur, a kink in its upper jaw. Mm -hmm. May mean that it <laughs> ate a certain kind of food okay. or attacked by gripping and holding onto prey. Modern crocodiles have a similar kink. Well. Um, so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I well, mean, you don't know, shame here, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's their business, I say. Yeah. Go for gold, uh, crocodiles. Do what you like. Um, a pair of thin, bony crests on its head may have been for display. Yeah, we've not, not talked a great sure. deal about mating displays on this stream, have we? Um, <laughs> no. But uh, but you know, it is an important part of. Uh, important part of the the animal process um mm -hmm. we probably i think the time to talk about that would have been stegosaurus when we were trying to figure out what the yeah. plates were for but um we've we've already, we've already put stegosaurus triceratops mm. yes um because that could have been used the frill maybe have been used for communication i was ready and... to like c or d tier dilophosaurus for not being nearly as cool as like it's portrayed in jurassic park however Hmm. What you've told me, there is some really interesting stuff there. I really like the uh, the the upper jaw thing that suggests that it killed prey by like clamping onto it and then rolling and thrashing around. Yeah, attacked like, by gripping. That's cool. That's mm -hmm. cool. Um, <laughs> Malcolm Cleland says, after all those horny beaks, now we've got a kinky jaw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. The dinosaurs are cool. <laughs> Dilophosaurus. I think that's a strong, strong B tier. Strong B tier, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's very a very good good dinosaur. Uh, does its job. Um, type species is weatherly. So right next, I just want to put everyone who's viewing the stream out of their misery because yeah. I don't want to hold you in suspense and make you worry and just basically slam ankylosaurus straight into the s tier yeah where it's so clearly belongs. Yeah. um you know I'm not trying oh, to drum let, up any un go... unnecessary yeah. drama it's i mean a great it's got dinosaur. a club on its tail it's got yeah it's, it's got a shtick body. it's got a shtick like it's seven meters long um which is only one meter longer than the Dilophosaurus. But while the Dilophosaurus was uh, 300 kilos, this bad boy, or bad lady, bad dino in general, was a 4,000 kilo weighing dino. Amazing. Amazing. Like one meter and yet like <laughs> over 10 times away. Precious Rogue in so... the chat says, the tail clubs are thought to be able to break a T-Rex's ankles. Now, if Ooh. you break your ankle in dinosaur times, that's it. Mm. You're mm. donezo. Mm. Donezo. So, like, the size of this thing... Is that just... why it's called an ankylosaurus? Because it's kill your ankles. Because it could kill your ankle. <laughs> the, an the ankle killer. <laughs> no, it means stiff lizard. Stiff lizard, yeah. Yeah, which is kind of like deaf leopard. <laughs> <Follow> it. <laughs> His uh, tribute act to Thin Lizzy. Yeah. <laughs> Thin Lizzy was followed by a stiff lizard. <laughs> yeah. I love Ankylosaurus. It's easy to imagine why. Because it's a herbivore, <laughs> but it is terrifying. Yeah. Um, one of the few properly terrifying herbivore it's, it's... dinosaur flavours. <laughs> I know, like a Triceratops is looks more akin to a rhino. Yeah. But in terms of power and being mm. worried about being in the same space of it, Ankylosaurus is like the one where you're like, oh, this doesn't want to eat me, but it could definitely yeah. just smush me. And I think as well, like, like imagining its kind of center of gravity because it's got those legs that are just mm -hmm. sort of like it's got like a, a nice wide base. Yeah. You know? Um, mm -hmm. You can just imagine it kind of like using the weight there, whoo, swinging around. Mm -hmm. There's some, what is it called? Is it called like Dilophosaur? That rings a bell. Oh, sorry, Dilo sorry, not Dilophosaur. That's the one we just did with the venom. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, di um, it's like, it's not a dinosaur, it's but it's like, good because it's because it's arms. To be a dinosaur, you have to have like your legs a certain way. So, yeah. <laughs> and like, it sort of has like out, 
you know, kind of lizardy legs. Mm, yeah. I can't remember what it's called. It has a spine. Yeah. Anyway, I don't. Even, I can't even remember why I was talking about it. I'm going to move on. Um, okay, but Ankylosaurus. This is, this is a type of dinosaur. This is an armored dinosaur. It's so good. Uh, yep, yep, it, yep, yep. It's just like spines and armor all the way down. Excellent stuff. Just, just, just the the pack. Like the, a big angry package. Bowser. Yep. Okay, now let's do Parasaurolophus. I love Parasaurolophus. Um, and there's so much to like. Mostly that I it's, mean, got it's got a great the good big crest yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, the Pompadour, <laughs> Elvis. It's <laughs> its name is like Sorophilus. <laughs> like Soro. Yeah, but nobody remembers. Sorolophus. What is Sorolophus? Oh, okay. Sorolophus is a a genus a genus of hadrosaurid dinosaur that's basically yeah. the same. Yeah. <laughs> well, forget. Sorry about it. Sorolophus. <laughs> the one that is like you is more famous. <laughs> yeah. Um. Um. Just a just a, a good dinosaur. Just a great, yeah. in, interesting design. Yeah. I like it's it's a real you know statement headpiece. I love it. Um, I love it that it's got the little arms, like a little T-Rex. So it can kind of like... But for, for I'm not sure why T-Rexes have the little arms, but for these ones, they have the little arms so that they can corner, kind of go down on all fours and eat grass and things like that off of yeah. the floor. I think um, I imagine, and and, it, and this, is, this is coming from very shaky foundations, but I imagine mm. the sort of like standing on hind legs would be a kind of visibility... Or possibly like eating from a yeah. leaf thing. Like, you meerkat. know, just to like meerkat up. Be like, yeah. anyone around? No. Back to the watering hole. Nom, yeah. Nom, nom. Or like mm, kind of like slime. reach up a tree. Kind of like balance against the trunk of a tree while you try and reach the leaves in it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like it a lot. Also, uh, I think that the thing that the theory on the big head horn is a sort of... Mm like possibly it was for display purposes like maybe there was yeah like, like um, deer or you know yeah. or there may have been like a kind of a, a sort of sail bit like a bit of skin like from the oh, tip to the neck came down kind of, to the neck right yeah, um, yeah. but uh, or for or for for noises or for making sounds for you know mm. honking like a great big goose well yeah <laughs> um yeah Di dinosaurs did honk um it, it, it's that thing there's um like with with like rutting like half of the thing is just like the noise that happens is like this is how powerful we are just listen to the noise you know mm. but yeah uh i feel like it's a tier yeah it's definite i mean yeah. obviously it's a or s but i feel like it's a yeah let me just skim through the s tier for me it's a tier i think but bear in mind, but it is in that scene where they're like, "Welcome to Jurassic." They look at and they look out on the field and it like yeah, looks it head out the water because it's just been having a little drink. It's got like the cute herbivore mouth. Yeah, and there's there's a great scene in the Lost World where they kind of capture one, uh, and it, it's it sort of is a bit cruel, uh, and you know, and all the goodies are kind of watching from a rock, and they're like, "Man, that was cruel. They shouldn't have yeah. done that." Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of folks in the chat saying it should be S tier, but I don't know. We're, like, we've got Pachycephalosaurus in A tier. We've got Stegosaurus in A tier. We've got Allosaurus and Protoceratops. This is this is its natural home among these. We've great got another one titans. that is uh, coming along that definitely needs to be S tier as well. Another Herbivoria one, haven't we? I believe. Um. Well. That first one, I believe. Iguanodon. So, Iguanodon yeah. is a complicated. One. Iguanodon is the is the ultimate. There's probably no more historically significant dinosaur than Iguanodon mm -hmm. because it was, you know, one of the first to like capture the public imagination. The Crystal mm -hmm. Palace dinosaurs mm -hmm. uh, that you were mentioning, Ellen, like you mm -hmm. know, they're Iguanodon. Like, they looked rubbish. In fact, let me see if I can find a picture of everyone eating, <laughs> everyone eating their dinner in a big one. Um. Um. It's only it's been found in Belgium and England, so I presume it got the Eurostar. 
<laughs> it, it's found in nowhere in between. It just went straight in. <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, nice. This is going to be slightly low res again, but you, you'll you'll get the picture. All right. Read that. Okay. Here we go. Do, 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 do. There we go. Dinner in Iguanodon. You, so could could you send me a quick link? Because it'll be a bit oh, delayed yeah, for me. Yeah. Here you go. So when they um when they did the there we go around the time that um Owen was sort of you know founding yes the, yes of founding course. the natural the natural history museum yes this was a kind of like society dinner for like the great thinkers at the time you got you got Buck, Buckland and Mantell we, is that Gideon yeah, Mantell Owen. yeah yeah William William Buckland Gideon Mantell you know like mm -hmm. huge paleontologists of the era mm -hmm. uh, you know sort of all gathered in one of these outstanding crystal palace iguanodons that looks an absolute state i don't know <laughs> what they were thinking amateur hour over here come on don't look anything like that but <laughs> so but here's would the you not want to, to eat a dinner in a fake if i could iguanodon. go back in time to any meal I would. Yeah. That's that's where I yeah. would be, <laughs> without a doubt. I mean, it looks absolutely incredible. What an incredible PR stunt! I would. Don't get me wrong. I would dearly love to be there, uh, mm. and I would have kept my mouth shut <laughs> about how inaccurate it was. Mostly because Richard Owen was um, quite horrible, uh, and was oh. and w like uh, was fond of pursuing grudges against other paleontologist and like Brilliant. writing he wrote cruel he wrote really mean-spirited obituaries for like <gasps> an obituary for like a, a sort of rival paleontologist whose work was profound and he wrote an obituary when he died as like he achieved very little the end <laughs> it's like wow why yeah. you let him write those <laughs> It because like, yeah, cause he's like the go. natural history museum dude. He was very influential and powerful, oh, and he's right. like, "Well, I, I will, I will be, I will be writing the obituary." Uh, he sucks, and everyone hated him. The end. <laughs> and his last words were that I was right. <laughs> yeah, not not a not an especially nice chat by all accounts. But there you go. But the thing is, so Iguanodon is like historically very important. Now, obviously, it doesn't it. It's kind of almost like just another dinosaur, except for the fact that it does sort of have a shtick because it has, like, Thumb yeah, spikes. spikes on its thumbs, the Fonzie hands, which is like yeah. really cool. Um, um, the also the structure of the muscles inside its head suggests it had a very long tongue, oh. so probably was like a giraffe. Cool. You know how giraffes can like they can't quite reach and then like, wrap it round and then hum. Hmm. So and a lot giraffes are like. I know you're, you've said that all others, all other animals are below these, but I believe giraffes are an S tier animal uh, because they're just ho big long horses. <laughs> and horses, horses are amazing. Great big um, long horse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Also, fun fact. You know, years ago I shared that uh, I adopted through my children's bank account um i was given I, I was i adopted a golden lion tamarind yeah uh, uh london zoo well uh, uh giraffe fact uh john bon jovi's daughter had a giraffe at uh, london zoo as well he adopted wow. a giraffe for her yeah oh, rubbing shoulders with famous giraffes yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's a pit there's like a there's a bit of paleo art that i've seen many many times um mm. that is of an iguanodon doing a stab e and i'm going to um oh, like stab, stab. I'm, I'm gonna like i'm gonna i'll put it on the it's kind it's, of me it's, it's kind of meme worthy i'll put it up in the in the thing i'll just let me find amazing it. It, it's it's definitely an animal that you'd have to be very careful hugging <laughs> yeah like this this is not the dinosaur i want to hug just in case here we go <laughs> So like the the caption for this mm -hmm. image is the Lannisters send their regards. Amazing. Right. I mean okay. that's in my link, mind. Link, that, in my through. mind that is in my mind that is the case. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, could you could you look? Yeah, there we yeah. go. Here we go. Perfect. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about this 
famous bit of paleo art is that it looks a lot like the iguanodon has basically walked up to a fairly passive dinosaur and just been like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> right. <laughs> Oi, you, right. I'm putting these in now. Real Guy Ritchie <laughs> dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to get involved? Oh my god, they are from England, so. <laughs> yeah, there you go. What you say to me? I mean. Well, throw you in the Thames after this. Yeah. That's so good. Um, okay, so like. Uh, there's someone in the chat said. Mm -hmm. Where was it? Oh, I think it was Nerdazoid said S tier, no question. They had dagger hands, yeah. and really, like for all of the history and stuff that we've just run through, yeah, it probably is as simple as that, isn't it? I yeah, mean, I mean, I you know, you have the best, dagger hands. The best dinosaurs have like a little uh, something extra going for them. So, and dagger hands is a good one. Mm hmm. Yeah, probably, uh, the, according to the Natural History Museum website, the large thumb spike was probably to fend off predators. Which, yes. you know, is good because you wouldn't... It's the kind of thing that'd be like, oh, actually, with more research, we think it was probably just for, like, picking sap out of trees or something boring. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, uh, still, I think it's, like... Um, I think, like, you know, uh, anteaters and armadillos and stuff, like, really cool that they have, like, those really strong claws so they could dig into termite mounds and things like that. I think that stuff is really clever. It's like, animals, like, we're supposed to be so different from other animals because we can use tools and things. Mm. But these are animals that were just like, well, I'm just going to make part of my I body. I am the tool. The tool. <laughs> like, yeah. That's um... just... Uh, Sean the Redhead says these Assassin's Creed prequels are getting out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> right. This is. We've only got three left. <laughs> and it's not going to be easy. Oh. Let's do Brachiosaurus. Okay, Brachiosaurus. That doll just peeking up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether it can. Is it just behind you when it comes up on the stream? <laughs> it's just kind of over my shoulder. <laughs> my face when I see Stegosaurus is only eight here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brach yeah, Brachiosaurus. Okay, Brachiosaurus. Yeah, Brachiosaurus, obviously iconic. I don't need to describe meters. it. 30 meters. Yeah. Bloody big. Huge. Know. Lake yeah. Jurassic. Al um, okay. Algeria, Portugal, Tanzania, and USA. Mm -hmm. uh, Brachiosaurus held its head very high. It's likely to have eaten the leaves on tall tree-like plants and I mean, was sure. named in 1903. So it is an old school. Yeah, pretty classic. Um, its name means arm lizard. <laughs> Fine. Brachiosaurus suppose, fossil it's record. Like neck, it's like an arm. No, no. The, the Brachiosaurus. Uh, uh, there's a relatively complete fossilized skeleton. Mm -hmm. It is the largest dinosaur known from a relatively complete, complete fossilized skeleton. Wow. Uh, right. There's one in the Humboldt Museum of Berlin. Oh, I think I've seen that. Uh... Is. Yeah. Humboldt Brachiosaurus gets a facelift. Show me a picture of it. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I have seen that. Um, it's and it's it's freaking good. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see if I can get a picture of this up on the. Oh look at that! It's, it's just. Oh, it's just. Yeah, I'll get a picture of of the thing in in situ mm -hmm. up on the stream. Again, quite low res. Apologies, but. Yeah. I don't have time to be hunting around for the high res ones. Look at that. That is a very yes. I've been in. I've been in around this around this place. That is a very cool room to be in. And yeah. like all of those like fossils are gigantic, obviously. But the, the Brachiosaurus, is, you know, really takes the cake. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it's 
it, it real get that that particular museum as well really gives me um animal crossing fossil room vibes yep 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 the th what's holding me back from just slamming it into it slamming it into the s tier is that like i i worry that it's i worry that like making it s tier is like basic you know <laughs> because it's famous what do you think what do you think um am i overthinking it maybe i'm overthinking it i don't know like i as a kid oh. brachiosaurus I'm just gonna move wasn't it up that in... famous yeah. to me diplodocus right. it, sure. i knew diplodocus because of dippy but sure, then that's, sure, sure. that's i don't know whether that's just geographical because i grew up in london so i knew the dinosaur because i went to the museum a lot you know um me personally, I think it, I, you know, it's definitely A or above, hundred percent, and it's very tall. Like that picture is outstanding. Um, Let's S tier it. What the hell? Yeah, I, I mean, mean, there are other similar love... dinosaurs to Brachiosaurus. Yeah, but I'm not but... interested in evaluating all of them because ultimately they do. You like, look, there's a great fossil record of it. You can go yeah. and see one, and it was in Jurassic Park. Yeah. So I don't yeah. need to see similarly it's sized, sneezed, similarly it's shaped ones. On a small to know that child, and it was very funny. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think he saw us? Okay. Right. We're down to just spinous. Oh, the doll came up again. <laughs> okay. Get rid of the save or download. Get rid of. Make sure that's not in. <laughs> All right. We're down to just spinosaurus and tyrannosaurus. Uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, they have a fight in Jurassic Park three, and spinosaurus wins, which is B. S. So why don't I put Spinosaurus in B and Tyrannosaurus <laughs> in S. There we go, tier list complete. <laughs> I thought maybe we would need to talk about that a little more. But actually, the muses spoke to me and gave me the answer. <laughs> well, there we go. Well, let's have a look. Yeah. Okay. Look, I know a lot of people really like Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus is is for real, not just in the movie. Like for real, bigger than T Rex and like yes. fearsome AF. Um, yes. But it's forty meters, mm. um, seven thousand four hundred kilos. Yeah. Uh, food was fish and maybe other dinosaurs. Mm. Usually, it was found in. This is really cool. It's like one of the more the first African ones that we've looked at today. Uh, found in Egypt and Morocco. So it's definitely like more water based. Just imagine one of these swimming up and down the Nile. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Crocodiles are scary enough. Um, uh, named in 1915. Um, and it just looks really cool. Like uh, I will say as, as someone who's playing playing Horizon uh, Forbidden West, uh, the, there's like a Spinosaurus type uh, robot that you fight in that. And it is an absolute pain in the ass, but like a lot of fun to fight. Um, yeah. But yeah, range uh, size estimates range up to eighteen meters. Okay. Up to eighteen meters, I, which yeah. would make it the longest meat eater. Yep, it's freaking long. The sail is really cool. I like Spinosaurus I plenty. I love the sail. Yeah. Maybe Spinosaurus should be A, but unfortunately, the the BS thing yeah. is just <laughs> it's too neat to ignore. Let's talk about T Rex. Um, yeah. I, w I actually went to a talk at the Natural History Museum by one <gasps> of... Nerd. <laughs> I say that lovingly. I say no, that lovingly. No, you were right. You were right to say it. Yeah. You were right to say it. It's fine. I have a friend who works there. So, <laughs> okay. so um, uh, yeah. So I went to a talk by one of the um, paleontologists who works there. Mm -hmm. A chap called Paul Barrett. I have several of his books, and I respect him in, in, in enormously. He seems like a great paleontologist. And he gave this talk, and a big part of this talk was explaining why, in his opinion, T-Rex is the most overrated, distracting, uh, like, uh, sort of damaging to all other dinosaurs' reputation dinosaur wow. out there, and why he really didn't like T-Rex. And I sat there very, very interested, disagreeing so hard... <laughs> That like, no, was, get... <laughs> yeah, no, no. My face was calm, but but internally, on the I, inside, in, on, in, the, on inside. the inside, I wasn't angry. I was like, Paul, no, you're just I, like, okay. I completely hear what you're saying. I, I mean, could not disagree more. Yeah, 
Yeah, like yeah. I look, we all have those things where we're like, look, I would, I'm happy to listen to this person do a whole lecture about something, and I completely mm-hmm. disagree with them, but I am interested to hear their side, mm-hmm. uh, and I think it's important to, you know, have those things, and you know, I think this is probably the most important topic to do that with as well. So I think you know what you did was very brave, Luke. Thank you, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> it's brave of me to see you say T Rex is good. <laughs> Um, no, it's yeah. brave of you to listen to someone say that it's bad is the thing it's that it's the, it's brave of you to open up to open up yourself to the opinion that it's not good yeah yeah and you know and i do i completely i i completely understand it i get that yeah. it is like enormously distracting tyrannosaurus get tyrannosaurus mm-hmm. rex gets a, a completely undue amount of research and like mm-hmm. you know sort of so I think it, it is very frustrating to paleontologists, but I think a lot of those paleontologists would also agree that Tyrannosaurus Rex is the like, a, like an enormous piece of the, um, enormous piece of the pie chart of why they got into it in the first place. Um, mm-hmm. uh, obviously, in you know iconic from Jurassic Park, but our understanding of T Rex has also probably thanks to the the weird amount of research that goes into T Rexes, yeah. we found out recently that T Rex is like a lot different to how we imagined, and that it yeah did low goose like honks yeah it did was, honks it yeah did honks. was was honking all over the shop well, um well, you know and th- well, that like had like, a different it'll be lower because it's quite big it'll be like, oh. yeah a different movement <laughs> like a speed pod. different diet. <laughs> We're learning, mm-hmm. like, we're learning so much about the T Rex, but it remains the mental image that comes up when everyone thinks of a dinosaur. <gasps> it, you know, the fossil record is brilliant. You can see some mm-hmm. absolutely terrific T Rexes. Yeah, there's, there's like, you've seen Sue, haven't you, in Chicago? Yes, yeah, Sue in Chicago. They're, they're an incredible. Um, there's example. also uh, on the Natural History site. It says there's, there's not only like fossils of T Rex bones, but also of you know fossils of other dinosaurs that show damage from t-rex so bite marks on triceratops and edmontosaurus fossil bones show that tyrannosaurus could crunch through bone Um, and then also analysis of fossilized tyrannosaurus dung showed that it contained the bones of its prey so it just like ate the whole thing like really went in um the 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 cool like the wheel like the thing that kind of like in every gift shop of a dino museum, any yeah. museum with dinosaurs, is like you can get like a replica T Rex tooth. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, and like, and they're usually smaller ones because like they're usually like about like 10 centimeters or three inches, you know, that you can get. But Tyrannosaurus, they're on the in natural history sites, Tyrannosaurus lives up to its reputation as one of the most fearsome animals of all time. Its powerful jaws had 60 teeth, each one up to 20 centimetres or 8 inches long, and its bite was around three times as powerful than that of a lion. Like, whoa! Oh, real crunch. You do not want to get bitten by a lion. <laughs> Definitely no. don't want to get bitten by a T-Rex. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. I mean, it's walking around, it's eating things that are alive and dead. Like, mm-hmm. we don't know if it was a, like a, a pack hunter or not. Yeah. Um, there's there's bite marks on Tyrannosaurus Rexes from other Tyrannosauruses. Cool. Um, but uh, we know that there is, it was like, we know that cr- close relatives of Tyrannosaurus sometimes live together because there were fossils of groups who were buried together. Yeah. Um, but we don't, I think that's just because they all like died in the same place and then got covered. I don't think like, they like buried them all in like the same patch of the little headstone. That would be so cute though. Like people have like all little place in the cemetery where they're, all their family is in one place. Um, <laughs> uh, but we don't know for sure if they hunted alone or in packs like lions and wolves do today. So far, no groups of Tyrannosaurus skeletons have been found. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, as far as I know, I mean, obviously the tiny arms are iconic. As, mm. as far as I know, no one's sure why the tiny arms. I think, like, I think there's an argument for saying they were just like vestigial. Like they don't, yeah. not, they don't do anything. They're just there because like they weren't a previous evolutionary yeah, yeah. form had them. Um. Uh, oh, in fact, here I am on BBC Future. If the world's most notorious carnivore had survived the mass extinction, it might have eventually lost its arms altogether. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. 
Um, but, you know, other theories that I'm seeing here are that it was just for, like, um, s- scratching at things that were nearby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, which doesn't... I mean, what do I know? But that um, <laughs> Dr. Austin Source in the chat said, if it's so cool, why did it die? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> Ankylosaurus, who was the clear dinosaur around at the you know at the end of days who has the perfect weapon for the perfect parry <laughs> whiffed it mm-hmm. uh, you know should have swung that big tail club around and not the yeah the space, but yeah didn't do it um oh david young says no the arms were super strong mm, there we go there mm-hmm. interesting well the thing is even though they're small in proportion to the rest of his body mm. they're still gonna be like biggish arms <laughs> compared to like, yeah. like they're gonna be bigger arms than ours yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I love Tyrannosaurus Rex. I don't think I, I saw a comment in chat. It's it's gone up. I've lost it now. But it was just someone saying like, "Come on, you are not all too cool for T Rex." <laughs> yeah, I, I think just <laughs> I just remember. Oh, it was David Young. Yes, yes. You all are not too cool for T Rex. Yeah, I mean that's you know, <laughs> no one's too cool for T Rex. Okay, <laughs> we did it. We definitively ranked the dinosaurs. Should we? Should we just we run? Did. Should we just like go through the tier list? Yeah, let's go from uh, bottom to the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, down, down here. Well, I mean... Uh, 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 <laughs> um, interesting ones in C. Pentas... Uh. Hadrosaurus I mean... is... Hadrosaurus is the most controversial C, I think, because Hadrosaurus yeah. is kind of famous and iconic, but as we found out, the fossil record... Sort of like, it might not be an actual dinosaur, it's just something is no that good. was no good. named, yeah. Um, the theme of B tier <laughs> is that mm-hmm. they are all similar dinosaurs to S tier. S tier. <laughs> species. Um, yeah, but they're already accounted for. Yeah, Bambiraptor, a cool new find for today that I'm into. Yeah. Um, a tier, I mean, I would have a dinner party with any and all of these dinosaurs. Oh, 100%. Un- unless it featured eggs, in which case I wouldn't invite Oviraptor. Um, yeah. But maybe you could. What's your favourite of the A tier, Ellen? I mean, I think it's got to be um, either the Stegosaurus or the Parasaurolophus. The one with the big horn. I can't quite read it. <laughs> Parasaurolophus. <laughs> yeah. Parasaurolophus, that's it. Um, um, yeah. yeah. Those, Protoceratops those for me. Her. Yeah, because yeah. I'm a big Dinotopia. It's very cute. Nerd. It's very cute. And then, and then in the S tier, we've got Diplodocus. Yeah. Triceratops. Diplodocus. Diplodocus, sorry. <laughs> Archaeopteryx. Yep. Utah Raptor. Yeah. Probably See, like Utah. Ra- Utah Raptor is one that I've not known the name. I heard as soon as I heard it, I was like, it's probably from Utah, but I had no idea what mm. it would be other than a raptor. A damn but good, looking at it, a it's damn just good raptor. it's just a big Jurassic Park raptor. Yep. And that's cool. And then on the other and end of the scale we've got Micro Raptor, which is like so the smallest, cute. teeny tiniest raptor you oh, could want. Steal it. Um <laughs> Ankylosaurus, of course. Iguanodon Absolutely amazing. Has dagger yeah. hands and is like enormously <laughs> historically interesting. <laughs> Brachiosaurus, I would say, is the... He's like the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> like the what? what? The mountain in Game of Thrones. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna yeah, oh no, oh <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, well, I great. met him. I met that actor. He's very nice. <laughs> you still got your eyes. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. <laughs> um, yeah. A lot of love for... Uh, Allosaurus and Apatosaurus. Look, I mean, look, this, this, this tier list. Obviously, you're never going to please anyone. This is uh, mm-hmm. this is the outside mm-hmm. extra tier list. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, A tier is not bad. Yeah. And again, this is A-tier like is these like, are the best. Like these are, these are like, like the best this. animals that ever lived. <laughs> if we kept uh-huh. this scale going down, you would have like, oh god, the doll came up again. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Jake Thompson says just joined as a qualified zoologist very happy to see my boy Ankylosaurus up at the top where they belong mm-hmm. yeah uh, wow so much love for the Ankylosaurus um, uh, Dan Ankylosaurus in the chat says great. you nailed that ranking and now it is the definitive scientific canon inform the Natural History Museum okay mm-hmm. okay <laughs> send this you can like save these and like share them <laughs> it's 
So you just send this to the natural institute. Yeah, I'll just email it to them and they'll be like... Thank you. Thank you, Luke. Thank you. Thanks for that. Yeah, we'll definitely put this That's up. That's important. Yeah, we'll put this on the fridge. <laughs> yeah, you look. It's, it's a big museum. It's fridge. It's a very it's big museum. You've got space in you've got space in the wall on the walls. <laughs> Just clear out some of the old you've got like 50 <laughs> kinds of parrot. We don't need that many. Throw away a few throw a few of the parrots in the bin and put this on you the wall. You know what they could get rid of is the pickled spiders. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't even like to think about throwing that away, though. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Had to burn those. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right, well, the stream's done. Thanks yeah. for sticking with us, folks, while we do this that tier list. Um, can, I'll, I'll see if I can download it and we can, yeah. like, tweet it or something. Yeah, we can share it out and you can... Uh, I think you, yeah. you'd be able to... Uh, I think then people can like rearrange their own versions of this. If you say if you save it as a thing, and then like people can make their own and not send them to us because this is the definitive list. Yeah. <laughs> Alistair Collins says the email <laughs> subject line should just be FYI when we. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else is FYI. No, no. Laura Carroll oh. says in a world where you could have a dino as a pet, but it would one be the size of a cat, and two it would love you like a cat. Would you and what kind? <gasps> Yes, I mean, please. yeah. Triceratops. Yeah. Easy. Oh, little uh, Triceratops. Cross, thank you very much for the super chat donation. That's generous. And um, Nerdazoid says, What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice <laughs> Age. Um, Good. 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 Well done, everyone. Thank you all for your messages. Um, obviously, there was a lot of like scientific analysis going on here, so I think we probably missed quite a lot of chat. But thank you. Yeah. For, for... Um, yeah. We, we we try our best to read out as many as we can see. Yeah, it's always a bit uh... of a balancing act. But yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. I, we will probably do some video game content um, at some point in the next few weeks. Um, Ellen's working on a. a been working on a cool list feature for next week hell yeah um uh, yeah all right just get get your headsets ready that's my clue there we go oh yeah for the video next week good clue all right thanks very much everyone for sticking around um see you next time goodbye all right bye, bye everyone bye. Bye. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Honk. Thank you.